Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we bring you a hot topic you won't want to miss. Is Gustavo Petro the president who confuses cities? That's right, at a recent event, our president made a small geographical slip that has sparked a wave of reactions on social media. But what does this mistake really mean? Is it just a slip of the tongue or does it reveal something deeper about his connection with the Colombian people? Stay with us because we will not only analyze this blunder, but also explore the implications it may have for his administration and the country's politics. So get ready because what comes next is going to surprise you. New slip, President Petro does not know Colombia. President Gustavo Petro has once again become the center of controversy on social media. And this time, not for a political announcement or an ideological statement, but for a geographical error. The president, known for his constant activity on the platform X, formerly known as Twitter, made another slip when sharing a video of the recent mobilizations in support of his government, which took place on September 19th. In his post, Petro claimed that the images corresponded to the city of Palmyra in the Valle del Cauca department. However, citizens quickly pointed out the mistake. The city shown in the video was not Palmyra, but Medellin, the capital of Antioquia. This blunder did not go unnoticed by ex-users, who were quick to criticize the president for his apparent lack of knowledge about the country he leads. The post was promoted in the context of the so-called March of the Grey Hairs, a mobilization organized by pro-Petro sectors, particularly by Gustavo Bolivar, the current director of the Department of Social Prosperity. The demonstration aimed to express support for the pension reform and for Gustavo Petro's government at a time when the president faces challenges both in Congress and in public opinion. However, Petro's error in the post distracted attention from the political message he intended to convey and the discussion on social media focused on his lack of geographical accuracy. Comments on X quickly followed. Some users, in a sarcastic tone, pointed out that the president doesn't even know Colombia, while others joked that such mistakes have become commonplace in the president's posts. Indeed, this is not Petro's first slip on social media. A similar case occurred on May 1st during the mobilizations commemorating Labor Day. On that occasion, the president shared an image that supposedly showed a massive march in Cali. However, the photograph did not correspond to that city or event, but had been taken in Medellin during a previous protest, specifically on April 21st, against his government. The error was quickly pointed out by Federico Gutierrez, former mayor of Medellin, who, through his own account on X, informed Petro that the image did not match what he claimed. These types of errors have begun to erode the president's credibility on social media. Citizens not only criticized the lack of accuracy, but also the fact that, on several occasions, Petro seems unaware of basic details about the territories of Colombia. This is especially concerning, given that one of the pillars of his government has been his discourse on the inclusion of historically marginalized regions. What appears to be a simple geographical mistake has led to deeper questions about the president's connection with local realities. How can he lead a social transformation if, according to his critics, he does not seem to know the territories he governs? These kinds of episodes generate a perception of disconnection between the president and the regions, which can have political consequences in the medium and long term. But not everything remains in the realm of criticism. Social media, as always, is also a fertile ground for humor and sarcasm. Memes quickly appeared, featuring images of different cities and questions like, is this Medellin or Cartagena? Some users even suggested that the president needed an accelerated course in Colombian geography, while others, more mockingly, proposed that Petro should ask Google Maps to help him with his posts. The truth is that, beyond the anecdote, these recurring errors have political implications. The opposition seizes every opportunity to point out the president's flaws, while his supporters try to minimize the impact. However, in a context where social media plays a crucial role in shaping political narratives, these kinds of slips do not go unnoticed and can affect the president's image. Despite these stumbles, Gustavo Petro remains one of the most active politicians on social media, using his X account to interact with his followers, respond to the opposition, and promote his government's policies. For example, on Friday, September 20th, he continued posting messages about the recent mobilizations and other topics of national interest. In one of these tweets, he called on the youth of the country to raise the banner of hope and life, underscoring his commitment to social transformation and the future of Colombia. However, beyond the messages and ideals, the president will need to be more careful with the details in his posts. Each mistake is an opportunity for his critics to question his leadership and knowledge of the country. In such a polarized political environment as Colombia's, any slip can come at a high cost in terms of credibility and popularity. In my opinion, well friends, here we go again with President Gustavo Petro, the man who seems more lost than a tourist in Bogota without a map. 
But this time, he didn't mix up a date or a reform number. No, this time he confused the cities. Palmyra is not Medellin, Mr. President. But don't worry, it happens to all of us, right? One thinks they're heading to Palmyra and then realizes they're in Medellin eating bandeja paisa. In Colombia, cities change places like magic. It turns out that good old Gustavo Petro, in his eagerness to show how much support he has, uploaded a video on his beloved X account, what was once Twitter, showing what he believed was a march in Palmyra. And here's the kicker. It was actually Medellin. Yes, Medellin, the city everyone recognizes by the Paisa accent and its famous eternal spring weather. But for the president, that seemed to be a minor detail. After all, what are a few hundred kilometers among friends, right? The comments came pouring in. People on social media, as always, did not hold back. We can already imagine the average ex-user seeing Petro's tweet and saying, is this for real? Does he really not know that Palmyra and Medellin are two different cities? Of course, because if there's one thing that characterizes Colombians on social media, it's their speed in making memes and mocking anything that smells like a presidential error. And this time was no exception. Petro doesn't even know Colombia, some said, while others more creatively suggested that the president urgently needs a basic geography class. Can you imagine Petro in a fourth grade class asking, teacher, Palmyra is where Plaza Botero is, right? Oh God. But well, this isn't the first time something like this has happened to the president. Back in May, he had confused a march in Medellin with another in Cali. And of course, the former mayor of Medellin, Federico Gutierrez, wasted no time in publicly correcting him. And that's where it gets interesting. Because these kinds of lapses are not only funny, but also turn into gold material for opposing politicians. It's as if Petro gives them a wrapped gift with a bow every time he makes a mistake. And of course, they seize the opportunity to puff out their chests and say, how can he lead a country if he doesn't know where its cities are? Now, if you think about it, how is it possible that with all the advisors he has and all the technology at his disposal, no one has told him, hey, Mr. President, that video isn't from Palmyra, it's from Medellin? Or could it be that with so many pending reforms, the man simply no longer knows what city he's in? Because the truth is, being president must be really exhausting. One day you're talking about pensions, the next about guerrilla warfare, and then you end up confusing Palmyra with Medellin in a post on X. The life of a president is not easy, folks. But let's return to the main issue. These types of errors, while they may seem anecdotal, start to accumulate because it's no longer just once or twice. He has shown himself to be a little disoriented regarding the regions of the country multiple times. And this, as they would say in my neighborhood, takes away his flow. People want a president who knows the ground he walks on, who knows where he is and where he's going. And if he can't distinguish between Palmyra and Medellin, how is he going to handle more complex problems? That's where things get serious. But don't worry, that's why we're here, to have a little laugh. In any case, we must acknowledge that Petro has resilience. Despite the criticism, he continues to post on X as if nothing has happened, as if each mistake is simply part of the strategy. In politics, sometimes what matters is not whether you make a mistake, but how you handle it. Petro, true to his style, does not let himself be intimidated. He moves forward, sharing videos, talking about youth and hope, and calling on young people to raise the banner of life. After all, what is a small geographical lapse compared to great ideals? And at the end of the day, Colombians will continue to see how these situations repeat themselves, because if we have learned anything from Gustavo Petro, it's that lapses are part of his style. So get ready, because who knows, at the next march, he could confuse Barranquilla with Bucaramanga, or maybe he'll say that Cali is the capital of Antioquia. In short, with Petro, anything is possible. Long live Colombia, the land where presidents confuse cities but never lose faith in their people. The Petrolapse, a reflection of incompetence, this error isn't merely geographical. It could indicate a deeper disconnect from the people he leads. Politics is full of surprises, and these slips are just the tip of the iceberg in a troubling administration. A president in his own world? Petro's ability to brush off criticism and press on raises questions about whether he is truly in tune with the Colombian reality. The disconnection is palpable, and these moments serve as a chilling reminder of the distance between the leader and his citizens. As Colombian politics unfolds before our eyes, we continue to witness the highs and lows of a leadership that, despite its controversies, promises to keep us entertained. Petro's lapses are just another chapter in this seemingly endless saga. Don't miss a moment of this unfolding story. Subscribe to our channel to stay informed about all the twists and surprises in Colombian politics. Join the conversation and be part of this community. Click the subscribe button and embark on this adventure with us.